Well, hello people, welcome back to the Master Chief Collection. Here we are, uh, I'm on the wrong level just here. There we are, that's better. We are on the level Arbiter, you're going to want to go ahead and select that. I'm going to be showing you how to get this done, Legendary Difficulty. Let's do all your competitive scoring options here. Legendary Difficulty, obviously, and I've only got the Grand Birthday Party Skull on. If you want, you can chuck any of the other skulls on. I'd recommend just not touching any of these skulls as such. Just kind of stick to the ones I tell you to put on. If you want, you can put the boom. Oops, sorry. You can put the boom skull on the um, grand funeral if you want, but I find they're not as as effective as they were in Halo CE, as, as I have said before. But uh, I'll probably be using them throughout the campaign a little bit more as I kind of play. I've started to play levels a lot more then, kind of uh, see if I can get a good run going. So select all your skulls, and without further ado, let's jump in and see if we can get this done. Legendary difficulty. All right, so once the level started up, we're going to do what we did on our part-time guides. You're going to uh, guide. Sorry, you're going to jump, even jump in this way, and you want to just jump down here. And what you're going to do now is you want to line yourself up with these elites, and you want to stick that one, and do the same to this one just here. And then you want to sort the two runs. What this is going to do is going to stop the whole dialogue thing and just speed things up. I'm more doing this because I um, I've done this uh, level quite a few times. The audio is really getting on my nerves. So you can do it if you want, and it just skips all this kind of bullshit audio at the start. If you've done it right, you should have minus 800 points. So, that kind of sucks, but it's pretty easy to get your points back. This door's going to open, you're going to make sure the heretic's just there. Camo as soon as you pass that box, jump up here, jump over this gap, and get let you land yourself on this conveyor belt. Now, don't jump at all, because you're going to go a lot faster just by walking, because obviously we're on the downwards conveyor belt. Don't jump off here, just let yourself walk off. 180 it, boom, that's you you're through the uh, first area without even having to fire a single shot. Sometimes you get spotted. If you do, I would recommend restarting, as it's... Uh, Obviously, you're, just, you're running in a straight line, so you're just going to get picked off really, really easily. So here you're going to be in a lift. Really simple. I'm just fucking around here in the lift because I've, uh, I've done this quite a few times. Still didn't manage to do it without dying. But I did have a lot of fun playing this level. It's pretty cool. The only levels I haven't had any fun playing whatsoever is uh, Regret. I don't like it. It's um, Well, it's more the first part of Regret. Sorry, only when you jump down here, camo as soon as you get past that box. Sometimes that elite's there, sometimes he's not. I was saying, oh yeah, Regret didn't really enjoy that because of the first part of the mission with all the Jackal Snipers. And I'm currently working on doing Grave Mine on Legendary Difficulty and just fuck that level entirely. Don't like it. And yeah, that's about it. So here we're going to do, wait for the door to open, come around here, crouch here. You don't want to stand up because it's kind of a weird gravity around here. What it's going to do is if you stand up, as you can see, look, I'm uh, I'm getting pushed back. Oh, sorry, I'm getting pushed forward and basically what I'm doing here is I'm crouched. I'm, I'm constantly walking backwards, as you can see, I'm bouncing here. So you want to crouch as soon as you get there but then you can sort of poke yourself out it's as long as they're all aggroed onto the uh, phantom dropship it's fine it's when they're not aggroed onto it what happens is they'll just turn around and shoot you because you'll get pinged like halfway out towards the hangar here we want to do as you saw there uh, before I, I switched out my energy sword for the the uh, oh what's it called the plasma pistol that's going to enable me to noob combo any elites that uh, just come to that corner there which they mostly always do what you want to do there is just come up to this point just here check around for any enemies two stealth elites on our side just there Check around. Sometimes the gr the uh, elites are armed with carbines, so you want to check around for some ammo. Sometimes it gets blown all over the place. As you can see, there's just one there. Give myself 25 rounds for the carbine. We're going to be running mostly with a noob combo, so that's a plasma pistol and covenant carbine for most of this level. Here's some fuel rod grunts come out. Sometimes it might take a while, as there might still be a few enemies left. But if not, if um, if it takes more than like 10 seconds for them to come out, your chances are there's probably still a sentinel or a grunt running around somewhere. So I'll go on the hunt for them. What you want to do now is I. You can pick up the fuel rod if you want. I'm not quite sure if I do, but I, it's uh, you've got the noob combo, or you've got the fuel cannon. Both are pretty um, effective at taking out elites. If you do pick up the fuel cannon, it is two shots to the uh, the ground around them or direct hits to take them out with it. If not, just noob combo them. That will get it done pretty easily. What you do want to watch out for is there probably will be one running around with a sword, so I'd, I would keep on the move and keep an eye on your motion tracker. Problem is, it doesn't show you what floor they're on, so just keep your eyes open, really. And you want to watch out for the needlers as well, because they are very, very uh, powerful in Halo 2. They, um, as they damage you when they hit you, and also when they explode. So you're gonna have about four to five grunts running out. Two of them are gonna have plasma turrets, and they're gonna put them down, but not if you're quick enough. And then you want to take out all the rest of these guys. This is when the uh, another elite might spawn with a sword. I'm pretty sure he always does actually, and he'll be somewhere down uh, on the bottom level or the ground floor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, with me, he didn't actually... I think he got stuck or something like that, or he was being an idiot. So I managed to noob combo him like that. Boom. That's it done. Pretty uh, easy way to get through those rooms. It's mostly just letting... Sort of taking your um, allies with you. And they, they tend to follow you, and they can just take take some of the fire. Also, they're brilliant at taking out these sentinels. 
and they're also really good at dropping the uh, elite shields. This corridor can might net you a few deaths due to how it's it's very random. It, uh, it took me two try two attempts to do this due to the fact it's uh, random of what the elite spawn with. What you want is at least one carbiner, as that's um, some ammo for you, and uh, make sure you don't do that with the plasma grenade. And you want at least one with the plasma rifles, and it's a lot easier because the, the carbines they just uh, they really do tear you up a lot. It's, uh, I think it's one shot I get hit by in a second, and it drops me to pretty much like. 50% or below shields, I can't quite remember. Uh, this guy's kind of walking forward, taking a lot of the fire. He then just gets uh, blown away. So here, now this area, which I'm, I'm like hugging the wall to, is really, really, really effective. It offers just the right amount of cover. But when you're in it, you want to make sure you're pulling the right, uh, so the left analog stick way over to the wall. So you can, so basically the after he's constantly moving, and then you want to noob combo them. You see that it's providing just the right amount of cover, and as you can see, I'm still kind of walking. Also, if you run out of uh, battery for your plasma pistol, there is one right behind you. It's um, a completely fresh one, so you don't have to worry about that one being half empty. There's also a needler back there if you manage to run out of plasma pistol for the plasma pistol uh, charge is on the new one. So, boom, he should have died there. I'm really not too sure what happened, so I just kind of go after him and just give him a little bit of panic fire. Boom, he's dead. And I just check around, go back up here to where the plasma pistol is and pick that one up so we get a fresh one with 100% battery. Once that's done, you've got a pretty similar fight just coming up around the corner. There's sometimes uh, a few elites might charge out of this door, but they tend not to. I've had it a few times. So this room's going to be filled with grunts and elites. What you, what I like to do here is I like to kill one grunt, and then just this one will probably come around the corner and see what's going on. Use this box for cover, and you're going to have two elites charge at you, but then they move, actually, they go around to the right here into the large room just to, just to our right. But since they run straight towards you, you can at least take one or maybe even two of one of them if they if you're quick enough. And then boom, once that happens, he's going to run straight into the open, and they're both dead. Again, you want to hope for at least one carbine, one plasma pistol, carbine for the ammo, uh, not plasma, uh, plasma rifle, just so it makes it easier. Here, what I'm doing now, I'm just just checking my surroundings, and you're going to take out all the enemies here. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run forward past the first conveyor belt. That's going to make more enemies spawn, but it's also going to make some more elites for on your side spawn. So that's going to, they're going to be able to take some of the fire. There's at least uh, four grunts and two elites that will spawn. Uh, that are still spawn in this room, sorry. So I'm just checking there. I know there's one grunt behind there, but it's up to you if you want to run. Again, I'm just checking because you can't really be too careful on elite this, on a legendary difficulty, sorry. As this is uh, the difficulty where you can die from one grunt just uh, getting a few good shots onto you. As you saw there, some of my allies spawned and so did some of the enemies. So you want to take out the heretics as soon as possible. The cool thing is, is they're not in range to actually like engage you so but the plasma pistol still locks onto them which is pretty cool so he just got hit there and i somehow didn't die from that i'm really not too sure then whether grunt uh went to throw a plasma and he got hit or something but i should have probably died from that it's kind of good i didn't have the boom skull on also another cool thing you can do is you can ch uh, see where your allies are firing so that means you've basically got they're basically telling you where the enemies are uh, the elites, they like to go up here, just where I'm showing you there. You want to watch out for this when the people armed with the sensible beams, because they will really, they will tear your shields to pieces and they'll kill you pretty much instantly once your shields are gone. Once they're all dead, you want to move forward. There's going to be four grunts coming out of this door. I uh, got a little bit sloppy here. I take out three of them. I thought I got all four of them, but I didn't. I wasn't really paying attention to my medals on the left-hand side of the screen. And I would have thought the other grunt would have just charged through. So here, the door opens. Again, that's why I thought there wasn't any left, because I was thinking, well, if the door's open, he's probably going to fire at me, but he didn't. So it was kind of weird. Fresh plasma pistols and ammo all over the place, so pick them up, and there's your first, uh, sorry, fourth terminal, maybe? I'm not too sure. I didn't activate it, because I've already got the achievement, so there's no point in me doing it all again. Here, what you want to do is make sure you've killed all the grunts. Like I said, four grunts, and then you're going to be in another corridor situation. Boom, a checkpoint. And there's going to be some more elites. Again, we're hoping for a, a few uh, plasma rifles and only get one carbine. And now here's what's going to happen. Two more uh, two more grunts and one elite is going to show up. You want to take him out, and then you just want to take the two grunts out. Be careful of the needlers again. And then, boom, they're both dead. Any second now, going to take up the final, gr uh, the final grunt. And he's dead as well. Nice and simple. Once you get the uh, the whole noob combo down down to a T, which is pretty easy to do if you just constantly you're constantly doing it, you can uh, you can really just uh, probably t just tear through the Covenant ranks. You know you can I think maybe get five or six elite kills with a with um, a fully charged plasma pistol. Not too sure how that guy didn't actually die then. I, I tend to have that sometimes. I find it's a lot more effective 
noob combo with the battle rifle, but then the Covenant Carbine I find I find easier to kill grunts with. So it's uh, one of those, what do, which one do you prefer? You know, A uh, few more grunts and a few more elites in this corridor. Again, these are pretty much the same fights. You just want to headshot the grunts, take out the elites, use cover. Again, you've got the um, cover we were talking about earlier, where if you need to take cover, make sure you're pulling the analog stick in whichever direction you need it. And just move combo the elites until you get to the next area. So with the corridor but part done, sometimes what you um, might get is the uh, elites will be taking cover with their backs to the wall. So what you want to do is just a new combo and just go up and back smack them. Here this room is pretty simple. I like to just punch that grunt because otherwise that sentinel is going to see you. But I tend to find what happens if you punch the grunt, the sentinel just raises a few inches. That enables you to run underneath him. Here you want to take cover by this box just here. There's going to be two uh, elites and three to four grunts if I remember correctly. Noob combo both the elites. Watch out for the grunts. A few of them are going to have needlers. Boom, both the elites are dead. Unfortunately, for some odd reason, I don't know whether it's because we are on legendary difficulty. It probably is. But the grunts don't freak out when you um when you uh, kill their elites, which is kind of nice when they do. So what you have to do is you have to take out take them out normally. That room we went through as well. If you want to fight your way through that room for extra points, there's two elites, two sentinels, and at least three grunts. Three grunts, if I can remember that uh, correctly. Here we're going to do what we did in our part-time, guys. Just keep checking each door. For me, it's the left one that opens up. It might be the right one for you. And now what you want to do is you want to hide whichever door. They're, it's a mirror image on both sides. I get a, I kind of choke here a little bit so they all start moving. And then this guy was late, and then I thought this guy was turning around, so I went to back smack him. So he sees me, but uh, good thing is I just managed to get away. So the best thing to do there is don't choke whatever you do. And here I'm just going to show you how to get the Grunt Birthday Party Skull. And I'm going to this up to four times speed. You just want to come down here, come to the left, land your Banshee just here. There's all these Grunts dancing. You can kill them as well if you want to get the extra points. Boom, pick that up. And then you want to get back in your Banshee. We're almost done with the level. It's it's a fairly easy level in the sense. Probably quite an easy one to do flawlessly. But, you know, I'm just trying to show you guys the quickest way to go through this. It doesn't matter if you die. I mean, this game is incredibly hard on Legendary Difficulty. And the only level I've done so far without dying is actually Quarantine Zone. Had a lot of fun playing that level. So here you want to land on the roof. And you want to uh, do something called a shoot and scoot. You want to take one shot and then you want to run away purely because the grunts have furor cannons and they're going to blow you to pieces like you'll see in just a second how accurate and quick they move. So he sees me and they fire. I think about three or four of them shot at me once there. I'm still not entirely too sure how I survived. Keep taking out the grunts on the turrets. Boom, there's one more dead. And then when you're kind of convinced that there's you thin them out enough, what you want to do is you just want to move over to the back, uh, the back of the sort of I don't know what to call this. Cabin? Room? I'm not too sure. And then you want to jump down just here. Just check your surroundings once and then just land. Boom. And then you just want to move along and headshot them. Don't be afraid to panic fire at them. There was one there. I didn't actually notice him so I panic fire at him because obviously he's got a few rods and they do track onto you which is really, really irritating. Especially when you're standing near walls. Not too sure how I survived that one as well. But we survived. And that is the Arbiter done on Legendary Difficulty. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the Oracle coming out next.